Callum, thanks for joining us. A cruel way to end that match. Yeah, I think all, all the boys, you know, we put so much into that game. And, you know, we held a going against an Aberdeen side, which is, you know, much improved from last year. And we'll be competing at that top end of the, top end of the league this year, I would have thought. And uh, it is, it's really disappointing. It's cruel to go to that way. And it's just, it just shows that little bit of, you know, clinicalness, a little bit of quality at the end. Great turn, great finish. And it's just in that, in that moment, just didn't get didn't enough. But the boys were fantastic, the way we defended. But it's not just that. We didn't just hold hold ourselves in the game. We didn't just camp in our own box. We threatened them. You know, Zach's had that chance blocked in the first half. Dimmy, their goalie's made a few decent saves as well. It's not like we just sat in our own box, no shots on target. We, I feel like we gave a really good account of ourselves. And, you know, we can take that take all the positives all the positives out of that into into the championship campaign and I think we can look back on the uh, Hibs game in the group stage and I think we can look at you know all the negatives that we maybe had from that we came into this game we sh we've shown that you know we we've turned that around and we've not we can t we can deal with that and I think it's important that we showed that transition and that's more more the side that we should be and more the side that we uh, know we can be to be honest yeah that was going to come on to the Hibs game next obviously the, some of the chat and the build up to this it was about the lessons we would learn from mm. that game and the need to obviously be better against um, higher opposition we certainly saw that from the first minute of the last today yeah the boys competed brilliantly I think Aberdeen have just gone and spent you know a million on a on a player you know, the one who scored the winner, didn't he? You know, that's a million pound player and they've just sold the player for 6.8 million. You know, for us, that's that's astronomical. That's that's different different level for us. And we've come here, we've competed today. And I think, you know, I think that's at the end of the day, that's what the fans want. They want to see a team that goes out and it gives everything. You know, if we lose, we've lost today. And obviously we're also disappointed. I know the fans traveling down the road will be so disappointed that we couldn't, couldn't take that extra time and give ourselves another chance. But... You know, I think that's what we all want. We want to know we can compete because games like this against big crowds that we all want to play in. And I think uh, I think we can definitely take a lot of positives from today. On a personal level, another outstanding save from yourself. Not the first time we've saw that this season already. Mm. Obviously, there's a, a real frustration how the game ends, but please, you're an individual performance. Yeah, I think it's obviously disappointing because, you know, me and the goalie coach Mick, you know, we've targeted, you know, get through the first 20 minutes of the clean sheet, next 20 minutes, you know, next 10 minutes, you know, and, and as the game went on and on and on and on, you're thinking, thinking, oh, I'm going to, you know, I might, might just get this, might just get this. And the way the boys defended, not just the defensive unit, but the midfield, the strikers unit, you know, because really we've come to Aberdeen and I can't remember how many saves I have had, maybe three or four, you know, but to limit them to that many chances, you know, with a, a team which is full of attacking talent, is really it's impressive. You know, it's impressive for us, and it's just it's a shame, such a shame that it, it ended with that. Just that little bit of quality just made the difference at the end, didn't it? And, and you touch on how good we were at the back. It's worth reflecting on the injury situation as well, mm. given how makeshift a, a back line that we've had in recent weeks. That probably makes it even more impressive to have came here and turned that type of performance in. Yeah, I mean. You look at that, uh, Nico obviously missed out last week. Dane's just come in, that's his second game for us. You know, he's not played a lot of senior football. That's, he's probably played less than five senior games. He's come in and he's come up to Aberdeen, he's not looked out of place. Henry's come in and made his debut for us today. I don't think he's played a lot of senior football in his career. He's only 19, 20. And boys have come in and they're showing it. And Maggie coming out left back as well. We forget Josh Scott as well, he's only 21, 22. Yeah. It's such a young back line, you know, and uh, I think we can definitely hold our heads high in that situation. I know that we came here, we competed, and we didn't, we didn't crumble under pressure, and we gave a good account of ourselves. Because as I said, on another day, maybe one of our chances, two of our chances, maybe go in, and it's a completely different game at that point. And it's just unfortunate that we weren't able to get that goal, nick ourselves ahead, and it left us, left us at nil-nil. And obviously, one bit of quality, one bit of opportunity, and it's they've punished us. Overall, more than enough positives to take as we go back into the league campaign next week. Yeah, hundred percent. I think we obviously all want to uh, go as far as we can in the cup, and it's disappointing that we weren't able to do that today. You know, for us as well, for the fans, it's really disappointing. But I think the positives that we can take from this game and the uh, the group, the group performance as well, because all individuals. I don't think there's a boy boys out there that don't think there's a single one that can look back and go, on, no, I didn't give everything. I didn't do everything and had a decent game, you know, and I think we can take that into the league campaign, you know, Airdrie away next week, it's a difficult game, and uh, we've got to make sure that we're going to compete in that, and, you know, we're always going to aim for three points. Callum, thank you very much for your time. Cheers, Sean, thank you, I appreciate that.